hey guys, everyone knows when you put stuff on the internet you're going to attract comments. Some of those have been good comments and some of those are going to be bad comments. Now, I've been doing YouTube for four years now. I have received actually, more than my share. Sometimes it feels like more than my share of negative comments and haters. Obviously, I'm getting loads and loads of enthusiasm and support from you guys, but there are a lot of haters out there. And... I don't want to say I'm okay with it, but I'm kind of used to it now. Saying I'm okay with it sounds a bit depressing that I get used to negative comments all the time. But you kind of do, and I'm okay with it. And when they're just directed at me, it's, well, you just ignore them. However, when the negative comments affect you guys as well, it just it's kind of really annoying. People want to direct hate at me, absolutely fine, but when they're directing hate at me and it's affecting you guys in a negative way as well, that's, that's, that's not okay with me. So there was one thing and uh, I'm sure she didn't mean to, to negatively affect everyone's revision, I'm sure she just wanted to comment on my book, but the first Amazon review on the new book that I have written was well, it wasn't great. You'll see Kathleen did not like my book. She gave it two stars and said that two stars was generous. And she is, of course, fully entitled to her opinion, except I think she's misunderstood a few little bits. And so I just wanted to, to respond to the fact that I think she's misunderstood a few little bits because, you know, if you believe what Kathleen says, then you're not gonna buy the book and then your revision's not gonna be as good as it could be. Um, so let's see what she said. Let's start with the good bits because she did say there were some good bits which is like, phew. The practicals are laid out clearly, there are example questions on each practical. I mean yes, I spent months and months writing questions on each practical so I would hope they were in the book. So good, there are loads of questions. Bad, no answers in the book. Yeah there aren't any answers in the book. The book is just over 100 pages long. The answers themselves are nearly 50 pages long. So if we put the answers in the book as well, it would be that much thicker again. Now, per book, that's not that much thicker. It would increase the cost of printing, which would increase the cost of the book, which means less people will be able to buy the book. So because we want as many people to have access to the questions that I wrote as possible, then why would we want to make the book more expensive by putting the the answers in the book. Also, you know, if we add the questions to every single book, that's 45, 50 extra pages that we don't necessarily need to be printed because all the answers are available online. And, you know, I'm doing a lot of geography videos at the moment and seeing the impact of deforestation on the Amazon is just it's really, really devastating the effect that cutting down trees for paper has not only on the, the local climate but on the global climate as well. So 45 extra pages in one book might not seem like much but when you put that across all of the books, when you put that across all of the students year after year, that's you know, I can't even begin to imagine how many trees that would be unnecessarily chopped down because well, all the answers are available on the internet. Uh, Kathleen eventually found the answers on the publisher's website. They are on the publisher's website. They're also on my website. I even made them like a pretty little picture, so they're really easy for you guys to find. Some of the practicals don't follow the AQA handbook. Yes, you're right, they don't. And there are two reasons for this. Uh, one of the reasons for this is that the first set of like practical instructions that AQA published were the first set and for one practical especially the acceleration practical this involved the use of um, light gates now not every school has access to light gates so not every school can carry out this practical in the same way so AQA have published another set of practical instructions and these are based on doing acceleration practical but marking tape on the table and timing how long it takes a little car to go along the table. They are both examining or they're both investigating exactly the same point. You do not have to do the practical in exactly the same way. The other more important reason that the practicals do not follow the AQA handbook is based on this document here. You will see this document is from Ofqual. These are the people, this is like the government department that tells the exam boards what they have to examine. Now, not a lot of people read Ofqual documents. I do. 
Like, I have read so many off call and example documents while I've been planning this book, you literally wouldn't believe it. And I just want to show you two parts in here. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because literally nobody actually wants to read off call documents. This bit here says. No more than 15% of the total marks for the qualification should reward demonstrating knowledge in isolation. Basically that means 15% of the marks and just 15% of the marks are going to come from remembering stuff. So if you just remembered the AQA practical handbook, you're only going to get the 15% of the marks. And then over the page, this bit here, this key bit here says novel situations that are not clearly indicated in the specification so the examples have to ask you questions about stuff they haven't told you they have to take the practicals and put it into a new situation because well that's what the government's told them that they have to do when they're writing exams so just downloading and learning the practical handbook isn't going to get you a load of marks this amazon review still goes on though there's quite a lot of i feel there's quite a lot of misconceptions already but there's still more which she does not like about my book. It's kind of like, ooh. Some of the answers don't give enough explanation. Um, I wrote the answers like you get in the, the, in the exam papers. I mean, I don't really know how much more explanation I could have given. Um, here are some examples to show you what the answers actually look like in the book. And before you buy the book, you can go and download the answers for free from my or the Oxford's website so that you can have a look at the answers. Spelling errors everywhere. I'm sorry, but we're only human. And you know, I wrote the book. I'm quite severely dyslexic, so my spelling is appalling. However, Word checked it for me. And then several other people edited the book, copy edited the book. So I don't know of any spelling mistakes, but... I would be surprised if spelling errors everywhere managed to get past the large number of people that have edited this book. And then she finishes. This is, this is, like, obviously I feel bad because she's saying something bad about me. But I also feel really bad for her as well because she's clearly misunderstood so much stuff. Overall, I could have saved money and downloaded the practical handbook. Yes, yes, you could have done. You could have downloaded the practical handbook. That's free but then you wouldn't have got all the revision stuff because as I've pointed out, they're not just gonna ask you the practical to, to recite the practicals over and over again. In fact, AQA themselves said in a report they released, I think, I can't, oh I can't remember, I'll look up when they released this report, that just learning the practical methods will not allow access to the full marks in practical questions. And then she could have downloaded last year's papers from the AQA site. Yes, yeah, she could have done. And, you know, when they're available in May to the public, then you should go and download the papers. But that's going to have last year's questions. And last year they asked about six practicals out of the 30 or so practicals that are available. And so just revising the practicals they asked about last year isn't actually going to be... It's going to be good revision as you do it, but it's not going to be the best type of revision. So... Kathleen, I'm really, really sorry that you didn't like my book, but what I'm worried about is that other people are going to take what you've said and think that all they need to do is download the practical handbook from the website and last year's past papers to revise. And, you know, that's that's not enough. You need to be able to take what you've learned and apply it to new situations. We saw this last year when... Um, you know, everyone was asked about carrots in the exam and... You know, carrots don't come up in the specification anywhere. You can't just learn the practical handbook and expect to be able to get all the marks. So, um, there you go, guys. I am, like, used to haters, but what I really don't like is when people's negative comments about me are going to affect your vision in a really, really bad way. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.